My name is Bakari Samuel. I'm an agronomist and uh, a scientist in National Civil Research Institute, Badej, Nigeria. I'm also the saddest focal point for Nigeria. They were also representing the agronomy tax force in Nigeria. We have a lot of activities in Nigeria by Sardar C project and the component of agronomy tax force we have the good agricultural practices, we also have the rice advice and we have weather dissemination. For the weather dissemination, we first tested some farmers to see whether they would like the three weeders we give to them. We gave them the Ninko weeder. We also gave them the street spike weeder and the cough spike weeders. The environment where they are working is the irrigated, low, uh, rain-fed low land. And so they tested these three weeders and 95% of them choose the link hole weeder. The reason being that one, it is light. It is not heavy as compared with the other two. Apart from that, it is gender friendly. Women can use it. It is also more effective to them more than the other two weeders. And it is called multipurpose weeder because they use it not only in their rice feed, they also use it in their maize feed. They use it in their cassava feed. They use it in their granite feed and in sorghum feed. So that makes the weeder to be popular among them. But we told them that there must be a condition in which you can use the rainco weeder. That is, the rice must be planted in row, which before that, this time, most of them are used to broadcasting system of uh, rice. But because of the weeder, they decided also to change to planting in rows. With the rice advice, the farmers, they grow rice, but the fertilizer application is incorrect in most places. Most of them, when the rice is about booting, they just apply small quantity of fertilizer to their feed. But no matter how much fertilizer you apply, if you do not apply at the right time, it means one, you will get lower yield, and two, you will also waste your resources. So in order for the farmers to gain more income from their farm produce, they have to apply this fertilizer at the right time. The rice advice is a tool that we increase the farmer's yield at the target set by the farmer himself. So we do not impose any quantity for the farmers, but as the name implies, rice advice, it advises the farmer on how to apply fertilizer in the right quantity as well as the right time. We, we take information from the farmer. How have you been growing your rice? What is the fertilizer application method? What is the environment in which you are growing your rice? Is it an irrigated environment or it is a rain-fed environment? And what are the practices you have been using? And the straw, how do you manage the straw? What are the fertilizers available in your community? as well as the price of the fertilizer. Because the rice advice will give you the quantity and it will also give you the profit. That's why we have to know the price of the fertilizer. So if after we are taking this information from the farmer, the quantity, the yield of the farmer, based on his way of farming, will be estimated. And then we will now tell the farmer, can you increase this quantity by maybe one ton per hectare if you apply so, so amount of fertilizer. If he agreed, the rice advice will now advise the farmer that this is the correct sowing period. This is also the correct quantity of fertilizer that we use. Out of areas of fertilizer that are present in that region, that we give you least cost and high yield. So the farmer, after agreeing on that, he will be told and given a sheet of paper to say this is what you agree upon. So that at the time of implementation, the farmer will have to comply. But we train service provider 
for that purpose. The service provider will be reminding the farmer, this is the time of application, do this. So and if the farmer did that, he's going to get the gain in rice at price. So far from the many countries we have started, there is no farmer that had less than a 0.6 tons per hectare increase on their rice farm. As for the good agricultural practice, it starts with seed itself. Because no matter how good you are, and no matter how good practice you put, and the seed itself is not good, then it means you can get lower yield. But if you start with good seed from good source, then you will have good yield if other practices are followed. And those other practices include good land preparation. The farmer needs to prepare the land very well and it has to level the land also very well. If you do not level very well, even if you are using mechanization, it will not be profitable because the planting will not be uniform, the water management will not be uniform, the fertilizer you apply will also not be uniform. And so you need good land preparation, you need good land leveling, you also need bonding in order to manage water very well. If you do not bond, the water will just be running over and whatever input you apply, it will not stay in the plot. So you need that and you need planting at the right population. So we say that if you are going to do this, you need to plant using row. Row planting is good as well as transplanting is better than broadcast. The reason is that with transplanting, you even use less seed. If you transplant your rice, between 40 to 50 kilograms of rice, rice seed, you will plant one hectare. But if you broadcast one, you will use not less than about 80 kilo to 100 kilograms of seed, and they, they will not be uniformly placed. In some places, you will see dense population. In some places, you will not even see rice at all. And in those places, weed will grow and it will be an, a disadvantage to the farmer. But if you plant in row at let's say 20 centimeter by 20 centimeter or 15 centimeter by 20 centimeter in the lowland ecology, then you will get the right population. And in getting the right population, you now maintain weed well and apply fertilizer at the right time. Also harvest at the right time because good harvest at the right time is also a good agricultural practice. If you do all good things and you do not harvest at the right time, you delay harvesting, then a lot of those rice will be dropped and that is not actually good enough. So in compasses, good agricultural practice all combines together we enhance the production of rice in any country. Now we have disseminated all these three technologies and as far as I know, in Nasarawa State, where we started the, the dissemination, all the farmers there took the rice advice. All of them also took the weeder, as well as good agricultural practices. We know that spontaneously they may not do all of them at the same time. But with the process so far, at least those people who have practiced it, they have received nothing less than one ton extra. And they are also encouraging there are other farmers to do the same with the hope that in 2017, even with less supervision, they are going to continue with all these good agricultural practices.